What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Randy Orton from the WWE. Let's begin today's lesson in center of page with the bottom edge of the brow. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that down on the outside. Let's line this up on the right, going up and then down. Now we go back to the inside and curl up the brow. On the left, we'll come in and bend that up. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we'll add a curve in between the inside corners of the brow. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left, we're going to step in, draw a half circle, coming down, and just tuck that up underneath on the inside. Let's add a highlight on the top left side of each eye, so with a half circle coming in and then back up. And we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black going around that highlight. Let's go back to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Starting on the left, curve this down, and then up. Let's move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw in the mouth, shift it over towards the right. So we'll start on the left, bend this around, and then up, and then bend that back out, add a bracket on the right side. From the center of the mouth, let's step down and add a small curve for the lower lip. Now I'm going to add another bracket around the corners of the mouth, going out and then in. Now you want to go back up to the side of the eyes, step out and draw the lower half of the head. Let's start on the left, we're going to step out, put this down, come in towards the middle, pull around up the chin, and then pull that back up on the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw the top of the head. We're going to go up and out, round out the top of the head, go across, and you want to bring that back down and in on the right side. Now we're going to add the hairline along the very top. We we'll start over on the left side, put this down, and then back up. Let's go back to the left side, curve around, and then bend that in towards the side, bend this out and then down towards the side of the head. Let's place the ears along the side of the head. Starting on the left, curve the ear going up, come down, just bend that in towards the side, and line it up on the right side. Let's add the folds inside the ear. Starting on the top left, curve up and out. Let's go back to the inside, hook this out and then in. Let's go back and enhance the cheekbones. Starting over on the left side, bend this in and then down. And the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's we'll start over on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right out and down towards the same height. Now you want to connect the hips with a curve, come down the middle and then back up. Let's add some detail inside the body. We're going to start with a curve across the bottom edge of the chest, going up and then down. Now in the center, just underneath the chin, draw a short line coming down. Let's add some stomach muscles. In the center, we're going to curve this down and out toward the left. Now in the middle, let's step over towards the right, curve this down and then out. Let's move down and draw that again. Coming down and out toward the left, and then the right. Now he's got this tattoo coming down underneath the right side. So it curves down and in. Taper that back out, and then fill in the inside. Let's go back to the center, step down, draw a short line going across the legs. Now from the ends, we're going to bend the legs going out and down towards the left heel, go to the right, go out and down towards the right heel. 
Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up on both sides. Now on the left side, we're gonna draw the top of the foot. We're gonna go up, bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. Now I'm gonna go back up to the hips and draw on the outside of the leg. We start with the left, going out and then down on top of the feet. Now I'm gonna go all the way up towards the top of the leg along the inside, bend the shorts, going up and then out towards the hips. and it'll add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across towards the heel. Now just up above the foot, we're gonna add a curve, the boot coming down and in, and line that up on the right. Just up above the boot, we're gonna draw that same curve on the bottom of the knee pad, step up, and draw that again. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway between the chin and the hip, starting right here, curve the arm going out and down towards the wrist, line it up on the right. Now from the wrist, we're gonna draw a half circle for the thumb coming in and out. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. We we'll start from the bottom curve of the thumb, we're gonna come down and spin that up. Step down towards the side for the second finger, going up and out. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, blend this into the arm, going up and in underneath the head. Now I'm gonna go back to the inside of the thumb and add in that strap. We're gonna continue this curve going up and then out towards the side of the hand. Go back to the thumb. Taper this up and out. Let's connect the top of the thumb to the outside of that wrap with another curve. Going up and then out. And then we'll step up and draw that same curve for the top of the wraps. Now I want to go back and add some details to the side of the shorts. Let's start from the hip. Bend this in and then down on the inside. Take this up and out to create a point. Let's add one more point along the bottom. Bend this back up and out. Now I want to cover the arms with some simplified tattoos. So start from the top of the body. We're going to start with the curve going up and out towards the side. Now I'm fill the inside of the arms with some simple skull shapes. Let's start from the top left, curve around towards the teeth, and then back up. Now you want to repeat that shape coming down towards the bottom of the arm. I'm just going to tuck this in along the side, and then the bottom. Now I'm going to go back and fill in the eyes with two black circles. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Repeating that same process. And adding a small point for the nose. And now we're going to fill the inside gaps in between the skulls with these curves. Just going in behind and work our way up towards the top. I'm just going to do the same thing on the right, going from top to bottom, again going in between the skulls. And we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Randy Orton from the WWE. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then you might want to click on this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.